Finally tonight, we take you to a cafe in central Jersey with a mission to empower and employ young adults with special needs. It's a key program for youth who are beginning to age out of the state's disability system, providing real work opportunities and a more inclusive community. Senior correspondent Joanna Gagas has the story. You say you never did that before? These students are learning how to work in a restaurant. Everything from taking food orders to cooking and then serving the food. It's part of a program for students with special needs run through the Woodbridge School District. Doing lots of stuff. Doing the waiter and um, helping the kitchen. Everything. Called RISE, Reaching Individual Student Excellence, the program serves 18 to 21 year olds, although because of COVID, they'll be including 22 year olds for a few years. The majority of their day is spent actually interning in different businesses and those, um, the students rotate on a schedule so they get a wide variety example of things they might be interested in doing beyond school. Three, two, one. Today, they're celebrating the reopening of the Mayor Mac Cafe in the Port Reading section of town. The cafe is a partnership between the school district and municipality where students serve breakfast and lunch to the community. I enjoy myself. Why? Because I like coming here and different people come to eat this food and they're happy. They're actually on the township's payroll, getting paid $13 an hour, plus tips. It was been my dream to, you know, to make money for, for my whole family. It's a great job, man. It's just great that kids can feel that they're productive. You know, when you're a teenager with special needs and you can get a job and you can work and feel important and feel uh, needed, I think that's just so good for their development. And that's why we're so proud to be able to have this facility where they can work here and feel that sense of accomplishment. That accomplishment expands beyond their work environment, says program coordinator Julie Baer, because by the time they graduate the program, they've already received a paycheck. They know uh, who FICA is and why FICA gets your money. They know how to open an account in a bank and what's a savings account, what's a checking account. They also learn public transportation and they learn how to vote, they learn the whole uh, democratic process, um, they can get their driver's license. Um, we facilitate all of that to prepare them to be active members of society. But the focus of today's lesson, overseen by township chef PK, is kitchen safety. Well, I'm Chef Antonio, let me tell you, this is professional work here. Once they get the safety down, they understand and they're not intimidated by the loud noise of behind you or hot doors, and they are accepting that. Then we communicate about the basics of cooking. How do you hold a spatula? How do you flip an egg? The cafe is open Monday through Friday, every day that school is open, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. to anyone in the public who wants to come and enjoy a good meal. In Port Reading, I'm Joanna Gagas, NJ Spotlight News.